Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome back to another review, this time of what I think are the most beautiful coaches I've ever seen. So don't ask me why, but I have never reviewed, I don't think, some coaches before. I've reviewed Locos, I've reviewed Wagons, I've reviewed Billhack Snowplows, but never coaches for some reason. Today that changes though because I managed to pick some up. So the coaches I'm going to be reviewing for my first proper coach review are these, the Great Western Clerestory coaches. And even though they're not out of the boxes yet, you can tell just how beautiful these things are. So I bought these from a train fair, they cost me £25 each. Actually, if I'd have known what the price from the retailers was, I might have bought them new from there instead because these were second-hand. I'm assured they were in mint condition, but you can pick these up from the retailers, Hattons, Rails of Sheffield, etc. for about 30 quid. Uh, so if you want to do that, I've included a link down in the description. And that's not too bad because the full price, the RRP, is, I believe, £36.99 from Hornby. So yeah, absolutely beautiful coaches. Fun fact for you, because a lot of people ask me why clerestory coaches are called clerestories. Well, clerestory is basically a word given to windows that are above eye level. So if you look closely at these, you can see that the roofs do have windows incorporated into them. I believe the term originates from large churches and such, which obviously have windows way up high. Anyway, I just thought you'd be interested to know that. I bought these from a train fair not too long ago. I haven't actually unboxed them yet, so I have not checked whether these are in mint condition. I hope so though, because I like all of my models that I review to be completely mint. So let's find out for sure. Really looking forward to this. Come with me and we'll get them out. So yeah, as you can tell, I was lucky because I managed to find a brake and then a standard corridor version of this, which is actually enough, I guess, to make up a complete train. I was thinking the Dean single would look lovely with these or something like that. If they are good though, and I don't know at this point whether they're going to be, I know they're beautiful, obviously, just through the front of the pack, but at this stage, I don't know if they're going to be good. If they are though, I might consider getting a couple more just to make a big substantial rake really. Maybe four, maybe four would be nice. Anyway, let's get the brake out first then, shall we? No particular reason, just uh, fancy doing that one first. Let me show you the end of the box so you can see the product code. So if you want to look up this one, it is R4900. GWR Clerestory Brake, third class coach, and it's number 3357. And just look at that through the front of the box. I don't care what the detail is like. There's no getting away from the fact that the decoration is just gorgeous on those. Absolutely beautiful. Right, well, for my first time ever then, let's get this open and see what this thing is like. It's obviously in a very, very modern box. It's got the proper blister pack and everything. But is it a modern coach? Let's find out. Okay, so there it is. Let's open this up. Wow, I've just noticed that the roof is a sort of creamy colour. It reminds me of an Oreo or something. <laughs> Fair enough, Sam. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, it's quite a weighty coach. I've, most modern coaches that I've sort of had in the past have been pretty light, but this one's not too bad. It's got a fair bit of substance to it, and yes, that is just absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Really beautiful. I can see straight away that we do have a few dated features. Bemusingly, for a coach that costs £36 RRP, it doesn't have any NEM couplings, which is a shame. You're stuck with these really large D-type ones, which suggests to me that this coach dates back quite a few years, which is quite puzzling given the price, but as I say, the decoration is top-notch. No doubt that accounts for a lot of the massive cost. We do, of course, have metal wheels, though, which is nice. Anyway, we'll take a closer look at that in just a second, but yeah, regardless of the level of actual detail on it, it's going to look good, isn't it? You, you can't put a coach like this on your railway and not have it look great. Uh, I don't believe that anyway. Okay, let's take a look at the other coach then, coach the second. Uh, this one is equally beautiful, quite different, of course, quite different looking because it's not a brake. Let me show the end of the box then. So this is R4899. It's a Great Western Clerestory again, third class coach, and mine is number 1609. Okay, let's get this out then and see what this one is like. Oh, I still think these are the nicest coaches I've ever had, <laughs> even though the couplings are a bit annoying and the level of detail does look to be a little bit on the basic side. Yeah, I can't really comment for the value for money at this point, but certainly for just the, the character and the charm and the pure attractiveness of these. Yeah, I'm really loving them so far. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely little corridor coach there. 
definitely got a lot more charm and character than any of the other coaches I've owned before, which is fantastic. Let's hold them both together then. Oh, I just can't wait to get these coupled to one of my early Great Western logos and see how they look. Yeah, those are gorgeous. So I'm going to pick one, probably the break, I guess. It doesn't really matter. And uh, have a really close look and uh, take a look at some of the details with you. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I know I promised I would show you the break, but I thought I would give you a few looks at the uh, third class corridor coach to start with, just because it is pretty different. So right now you're having a good look at the corridor side, which is the one I've already showed you. Uh, just beautiful, you can just tell how good the decoration is on these. And then if I show you the other side, you can see it does look slightly different. You've got these beautiful, really stylish looking, thin, narrow, tall windows, uh, which I think look really, really nice, particularly because there's so many of them. Yeah, it is a fantastic, fantastic coach. I thought I would just give you a quick pan across there. Okay, so here is the break, and as you can see, it is equally beautiful. I have to say the level of detail has not really impressed me for a coach that costs nearly £40 RRP, although I would say, as I said a minute ago, that the cost is somewhat justified by the decoration, which is really, really good. So you've got loads and loads of different colours used. Obviously, you've got the yellow area where the windows are, and then the more chocolatey colour down below. Really, really good. The lining is pretty well done as well. They have used that metallic paint with the flex in it, which doesn't look all that amazing, but this is not a bad example of it by any means. It doesn't look too bad. You can see that the third class uh, signage on all of the doors and such looks absolutely fine. There's no problems with that. And the running numbers are printed above some of the windows, as you can tell, which is pretty nice. You've also got some little crests. It looks like a coat of arms of some description. I'll try and get a close up of that so you can see it better. But as you can see, there's nothing wrong with the way those are applied at all. They're just fine. And there are some other little, look, I need to really get some close ups of some of these other prints because there's three and they appear to be all different, which is really quite good. Uh, there are other printed details, some of the windows have painted details on them and the ones towards the back of the brake have that sort of crisscross bar effect put onto them which is really quite good. And as I already mentioned, the roof introduces a third colour, that sort of uh, slightly off-white, uh, which looks beautiful, it really, really does. As I say though, the detail is pretty basic and there are parts of this model that you would expect to be separately fitted and a little bit more convincing on a model that costs this. For example, these little handles here are all just moulded on, none of that is separately fitted. We have this ducket which might well be separately fitted but as you can see it doesn't have any glazing inside it which isn't dreadfully convincing. The buffers are just plastic and part of the moulding and they're not sprung or anything like that. And all of the extras, such as the lamp brackets here and other small parts, are all just moulded on, which is not, again, what you'd expect with a modern coach costing this much. The underframe is a little bit on the chunky side. There's not a great deal of detail going on with those. It's just as you'd expect a model from 10, 15, 20, or possibly more years ago to be. And the interior is pretty sparse. It is just a plastic insert. There's no, nothing painted or anything like that and nothing really textured as far as I can tell. For a cheaper railroad coach, of course, that would be absolutely fine. But I'm just thinking about the high cost. We do obviously have the clerestory roof though. And sure enough, yes, there are some windows installed into that which are above eye level and they are glazed too, which is pretty good to see. Overall though, I will stick to my original assessment of these being absolutely beautiful coaches and even though they're not the most detailed in the world, I've certainly seen better, I certainly don't regret picking these up because the level of decoration on them is just amazing, as you can tell. Okay, so let's get them down onto the track, see how they perform. They do at least have nice modern metal wheels, which hopefully will allow them to run without too much drag. We'll put them together for the first time and see if they run okay. Fingers crossed. All right, so I've set up Achilles, my Dean single, ready to run. I've picked that one because it is the loco I thought of when I first saw the coaches for sale, so I've definitely gone with my instinct on that one. The coaches have not yet been on my track yet because they weren't brand new, even though I'm assured they basically haven't been used. I have cleaned the wheels and made sure that everything's freewheeling, so it is as close as possible to new condition. So let's put the corridor on the track and see how nice and freewheeling they are. I th I've been thinking about how to penalise this because of its non-NEM couplings. I think I'm going to take a, a few marks off the performance um, because obviously it's not really a detail, it's not really a quality. Yeah, it's difficult. So performance is where this is going to fall down, I think, a little bit because of those couplings. But as you can see, the actual practical performance, oops, it's gone uncoupled now, <laughs> was really, really good. Perfectly freewheeling was that. Is the brake the same in that regard? Let's give that a try. Oh yeah, even more so in fact. Yeah, so I would say even this little Dean single would probably manage to haul quite a lot of these, at least a couple more, 
possibly quite a lot more, especially with its traction tyre. So that is beautiful, and together they do look amazing. Let's get a shot of all three together, shall we? Wow, yeah, those roofs are just gorgeous. I do love the clerestory roofs. Okay, let's get the Dean single started then and see how they get on around the layout. Fingers crossed they won't derail or anything. Okay then, Achilles, take it away. Let me set the direction. <laughs> I've just noticed, yeah, that gap above the front bogey looks insanely ridiculous, doesn't it? Not to worry, here we go. Nice gentle start for the maiden voyage of the coaches around the layout. Ooh, here we go. Well, as you can see, the Dean Single is handling those very easily because they don't have very much drag to them, which is great. And you can see some other coaches that I've set up to use in just a second. But yeah, that is just gorgeous. It brings that Dean Single to life, doesn't it? Having some beautifully matching coaches. Ah, oh, got to be my favorite coaches. I know I shouldn't like them because they're pretty basic, but I can't help it, man, can't help it. Okay, so I am so happy with those. They just look amazing, don't they? So running alongside them, I've picked some other old-fashioned locos. I have a Star Class with some more standard Great Western coaches. The Star Class, of course, being one of the earlier 460s of the Great Western Railway. Really lovely are those. So there we go, Star Class for you. Quite a big train. How many coaches did I go for? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven coaches. So it's not bad. And then on the very inside line, I have my Oxford Rail Dean Goods, which looks lovely, it really, really does, but it doesn't run that well. It's got a bit of a dodgy motor, and I actually spoke to a guy from Oxford Rail about this, and he said, yeah, you got us, the motors are rubbish in these. I'm pretty sure that's basically what he said, or he might have been talking about the Adams radials, I'm not sure. But either way, it's working all right now, and uh, it's got some goods behind it. So let's catch up with those Great Western coaches, the Clorestories, of course, and I'll give you some ratings for them as well. So obviously I'm a reviewer, it's kind of my duty to tell you that the coaches are pretty old and pretty basic for what they cost, pretty expensive too I guess. But I do love them and I do recommend them because they look that great, but obviously do bear in mind you're not buying super modern coaches if you decide to get some. For sure though, if they were going on looks alone, I suppose it would be five stars across the board, wouldn't it? Either way, that's not the case, so let's go to the ratings and I'll show you some of them. So decoration aside, I would have given the level of detail around a two star for these because they are pretty basic. However, the decoration is very, very good, so I've added an extra star for that. Obviously though, if you get some, you are not expecting modern coaches. I believe these were first produced many years ago and it does show, unfortunately. The performance is very good. They're freewheeling, they don't derail on curves, no matter how tight, really. The only problem with the performance is those big, cumbersome couplings, which you cannot remove and just fit slim tension locks, KDs, chain link, screw link, whatever you decide to fit, you can't do that because they don't have the NEM pockets. So if you did want to do that, you'd obviously have a bit of work to do. And on a modern coach, that's a little bit unreasonable. I would have said not to adapt those at the factory and allow them to have modern couplings up to standard. Uh, otherwise, though, the performance is fine. I have given it three and a half star. I've knocked off a star and a half for those couplings because it is quite a, a serious bodge, isn't it, that? The quality, I've given five star. Yeah, they're really, really good. The decoration, I've given the benefit of the doubt. Some of the lining has that sort of flecky metallic paint, which I don't really like that much, but it doesn't spoil the overall look. They're quite substantial coaches. They weigh in at 137 grams, which I think for coaches that are that size isn't bad at all. They've got metal wheels and they're assembled faultlessly without any problems whatsoever there. So I've given the quality five star there. I think that's well deserved. Value for money then, they cost £36.99, that's the RRP. The retailers have them between £30 and £33.50, depending on where you go. Like I say, link below if you're interested, I have an affiliate link there. Unfortunately, while the decoration is amazing and the performance is good, the features just aren't there for that price. And nearly £40 for a coach is quite a lot, I would say, when it is as basic as these are. So do bear that in mind if you're thinking of purchasing some. I've only given this a two star on value. Overall then, that is a 6.46 out of 10. I feel kind of bad about that because I like them so much. However, I don't think it would be reasonable to give them five stars on all counts and then obviously show you a coach that is blatantly quite old fashioned. So I do think that's reasonable as much as it upsets me to do that. Into the logbook we go, the rolling stock one, of course. There we go, seventh, just below the Backman pillbox. They are bottom, but they're not bad by any means. If they're a little bit cheaper, possibly in the railroad weight range for, you know, 20, 25 pounds each, they would be amazing value for money. I just think they're a bit pricey for what they are. I will maintain though, 
despite the issues, <laughs> they're still the best looking coaches I've ever owned, even though they're getting covered up now, oh dear. Yeah, they look great, don't they? And for that, I guess they can be forgiven. There's the Dean Goods. Actually, after what I've just said about it, it's sped up a bit now. And I can't smell it anymore. When I first put it on the track and ran it, it stank. <laughs> that star class keeps ruining my shots. Gah, curse you, star class. So I'll create a poll folks, tell me, do you want to see more coaches reviewed? I happen to really enjoy these, and if I've got some super duper detailed ones, I suppose it'd be even better, wouldn't it? If you've got any suggestions on which coaches you'd like me to review, do let them be known in the comment section. I will obviously read and answer all of your comments, so be sure to do that. For now though, I hope you enjoyed that. Of course, let me know your thoughts too in the comment section, and I will see you very, very soon for some more videos. Take care everybody, see you next time. <laughs>